Good news time. Information is power. Be current. The news headline. Al Buari and his men are calculating against one easy over in Amdekanu. The news in full. The first person, and this is written by Mika Ugunye Esquire. Movement for Peaceful Change MPC. The best person to effectively represent in Amdekanu's interest is an intelligent and experienced lawyer who has a clear picture of the direction of his case and Inam Dekanu doesn't have that caliber of lawyer in person of barrister he due for. The absence of a competent lawyer as a leader of Inam Dekanu's legal team led to the situation where Wanize is playing such a prominent role in a criminal case pending in court. Can you imagine that? This is a criminal trial for goodness sake. The government wants to use the criminal justice to achieve its objective. That is quite evident. And I will show you how I came to that conclusion. On the other hand, either by design or because of the absence of a good defense lawyer, one is using political approach to achieve its desired outcome. So you can see the gap in the strategies. Government, the custodian of politics, is using the courts, while Owanize is using politics to resolve the challenge. And when Owanize met President Muhammad Buhari and presented its political option, that was why the courts wrongly claimed that the matter is before uh, the judiciary and would not want to, uh, you know, do anything, you know, uh, that would actually tamper with the separation of powers. And that was why the president wrongly claimed that the matter is beyond uh, is, is beyond him and before uh, the courts and he might lack the power to intervene and that position is really wrong because the president via his attorney general has all the powers to terminate the prosecution and have charges dismissed but because the president had calculated that the judicial option was more in his interest he presented the lack of ability to abort the judicial option in preference for the political option proposed by the Wanizi in the blue. to show that the president has entrenched interest in the judicial option two key figures in his government have come out recently to suggest that the president lacks the power to get in Amdekanu released without completing the trial festus ken yamo repeated the pretentious position that the president lacks the power to end the trial. And today, Malami, the attorney general, repeated the same position by suggesting that discussions of release of Inabdekanu are premature because Inabdekanu is still standing trial. In other words, Malami wants the trial to be completed before pardon could be discussed. He wants Inabdekanu to be convicted and sentenced to death or life before he could be granted pardon and then released. Ironically, Malami can end trial with only two paragraphs of written statements entering nolly prosecute in the case. The funny thing is that uh, my Wanese brothers may think that they are smart and that they are, you know, and that they are making progress over in Amdekanu's case when in fact they are complicating matters. One is in moves may actually turn out against Inamdekanu. They are pleading for forgiveness, which is an admission that Inamdekanu committed the offenses. The leader of the Wanize delegation was quoted to be assuring Buari that I know how to control him. If you release him to me, I will get him to stop saying those things he was saying. In other words, he admitted that Inamdekanu was inciting violence and preaching ethnic hatred, but that he could stop him from continuing to commit those offenses. The Nigerian government is yet to prove in court that it was indeed in Amdekanu that was making those broadcasts, but our Wanese elders already admitted that fact, thus providing uh, for the state the evidence they may, they may actually not have at trial. If in Amdekanu had a good lawyer, he would have made some critical advances in the case and would have advised Wanese to sit back and watch for the time being. Instead, because there is no good lawyer for Inamdekanu, Wanize is so confused 
Duanese members don't know how to approach this case. They come in as observers of the trial and get denied entry into the courtroom. They monitor the trial from the corridors and parking the lords and uh, came as delegates to the president to ask for amnesty, but end up admitting to the offenses charged. It is clear that Wanize is at loss and the president is far more calculated and is ahead of them in strategy and thinking. The president will listen to the advice of his attorney general before deciding how to respond to the Wanize people and the attorney general will tell the president that the discussions with Wanize is premature that he should wait until Kanu is convicted. At the present pace of progress in the trial, the trial will not be completed in the next three years. But also, the trial can be sped up if Inamdekanu pleads guilty to some of the charges by the way of plea bargain. In other words, the government will ask Inamdekanu to plead guilty to some of the charges in order for the government to drop the other charges and be sentenced to time already served in detention. The guilty plea will effectively disqualify Inamdekanu from holding a political office in the future unless pardoned. So this is quite complicated and too advanced for Inamdekanu's current lead counsel. He is actually uh, a lame duck and unable to even comprehend what is happening. My advice to the Igbos is this. Do not underestimate the president and his men. They seem to have a game plan. The Nigerian agent that brought Inamdekanu to Nigeria could have killed him in Kenya if that was what they planted, uh, they actually wanted. But no, they had a plan, and their plan is intended to play out through the court. Be careful and smart as you deal with the government. They are not as stupid as they appear clumsy. They have a game plan to permanently suppress the Biafran agitation using in Abdekanu's case. And this is, you know, the uh, analysis by uh, Emeka Ugunye and Esquire for the Movement for Peaceful Change, MPC. And it is needed, you know, to take into consideration this analysis, uh, you know, especially in the case of the uh, of the lawyer of Mazen Abdekanu, who he has said here that seems incapable, you know, Adembini is capable, he would have seen ahead, you know, the game plan that is being used by, you know, the president and his men and would have tried as much as possible to, uh, you know, uh, chill the one is the indigo, you know, uh, bring them to uh, a, a rational conclusion and, uh, you know, make them see brighter than they see rather than just making them, you know, walk and do things in confusion. That seems to have been complicating the issue the more because as at the point of the court trial, the government does not even have a proof 